a US president that's hated abroad and fighting a war on terror. And where have we heard that one before? The world captured in new film Vantage Point is all too similar to our own, although their American leader, played by William Hurt, offers an alternative way out. I think he played him uh, as a man who has a lot of hope and optimism and wants to do things um, a bit different. You know, he doesn't want to be reactionary. Everyone's favorite plane crash survivor, Matthew Fox from Lost. Doesn't want to um, just take being attacked and, and respond in, with, with, with force immediately as a sort of a gut reaction. A sentiment echoed by his co-stars, especially Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker. He's someone who's desperately trying to, to connect in the world and find peace on the planet and, and like won't compromise like hurting people to do so. And so I think it's, it's a good message that his character has to say. The movie's perfectly timed as politics takes centre stage in the States. A surge of message-driven films and celebrity endorsements are designed to fire up the public to vote. A fact that Forrest knows only too well and has already given his backing to his preferred candidate. I'm voting for Obama. Yeah, I mean, I think that he's offering a lot of hope and a lot of um, possibilities for the future. I think he's one of the people who really wants to communicate with the rest of the world, and I think he'll get us out of the war. And um, so I'm excited about it. Matthew, however, is still thinking it over. I haven't decided yet. I, I really honestly haven't. Um, I'm really enjoying the process. I think that this election year has is, is been amazing. The amount of young people turning out, and uh, it really feels like it's not uh, you know, partisan politics. It doesn't feel like make, people are making decisions really early on based solely on um, the party. And I feel like they're really looking at the candidates and watching, paying attention to the debates. And it uh, feels like a really activated process in, in America. Um, and that feels really good. And I'm excited to see what's going what's gonna to happen. Well, expect more triumphs and tears, that's for sure. It's not until August that the Democratic Party officially announces their nominee at their convention, giving Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama a little more time to fight it out. One of the two will then head into the real race with Republican John McCain in November's election.